Well, everybody, how y'all doing today? Well, last night here in central Arkansas, we had a pretty rough round of uh, severe storms come through. And in White County here in particular, about seven o'clock last night, the tornado sirens went off. Uh, we, we fared pretty well here in Judsonia. It didn't really have any damage here, but just up the road a couple of miles is a little town called Kinson. Uh, they got hit pretty, pretty hard. So this morning, Randy and I uh, hopped in the truck, grabbed the camera, went down to Kinson and did a little looking and found several homes that had been pretty much destroyed. But what was kind of remarkable is that there was a real close population of houses, but it looks like the tornado just kind of dipped down and it'd tear one up and then it'd go a little ways further and then dip down again and tear another one up. And it just did that three or four times. And so we shot some videos and pictures of it and I'll show it to you right now. Okay, this is uh, the south side of Kensett, and we're looking north and east. You can see the railroad track is on your right. The actual path of the tornado was just to the left of the railroad track, but it just pretty much ran parallel along it. So we're going to follow that path, and as we move along there, you can see the first house that was really damaged. It's, it's on the lower right-hand corner of the screen, right there. That house was pretty much flattened, but it, it was an older frame style house and it had a, a, a metal building behind it. The old dog turned out okay. <laughs> but look at what's sticking out of that side of that building. That was one of the boards from the house. Uh, now the National Weather Service said that it was estimated 120 mile an hour winds associated with this EF1 tornado. Man, that is, that is nasty right there. So as we progress along the storm path, what I noticed is you don't really see a whole lot of damage. It's just real sporadic. You know, as you kind of look along, you'll see a little bit of debris here and there, but you know, not a lot of shingle damage, not a lot of limbs and things torn down. You know, it's just, can't really tell anything even happened there. So now we're coming up on the second spot where the tornado dipped down. And, and there again, as we get to this spot, you don't really see a whole lot, but if you look right there on your left, there's a mobile home there that got just totally destroyed. And just across the street from it, on your right there, that was a frame house that not only had a tree blown down on it, but the tornado took off pretty much half of the roof. Now this is the mobile home, and that was where it was sitting on its foundation. It got blown against that tree right there, and that's what stopped it. But it just destroyed it, and all you can see is just the frame and part of the flooring. Now this is a house across the street, and you can see that the pine tree blew down on it, but you can also see that over half of the roof is missing on this house. And as we go on, and just as we get over that house that the tree got blown off of, you can see inside the house. I mean, it's just a clear shot inside of it. So the tornado picked back up again, and there you see the houses behind it doesn't really have any damage. But now, there's one spot right there that was a mobile home that had some shingles blown off of it. And then right next door to it was another house that had very little damage at all, but the, it had a vehicle sitting in the driveway. And this is what we found when we drove down that street and checked that out. That's a pine limb that I'm suspecting came off of that house that had the tree blown over on it. You know, that's a green pine limb. It's not all that substantial, but it punctured completely through that windshield. Now, at this point, you don't really see any more storm damage. That's pretty much where the tornado picked up and, and just went on. So as we turn around and face back to the direction that we came from, as you look around, you don't see a lot of storm damage anywhere else. It was just pretty much confined to that one little stretch down through there. But now you can get a little bit better shot of where that mobile home got just totally destroyed. And what you see is that was actually a row of three mobile homes and only the one on the very end got destroyed. The other two had very little damage at all. Absolutely amazing. Of course, I guess the good thing out of all this is that all that storm damage and all those homes that was destroyed that there were no fatalities, and in Kensett there were only two injuries. So that's, that's the best part.
Alrighty guys, well that's gonna wrap up today's video. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, leave me some comments in the comment section below. Y'all have a good one. We'll catch y'all next time around. And so we shot some videos and pictures of it. I'm gonna show it to you right now. And then you gotta shoot the, your outro. But you're gonna tack onto the back end of it. After you answer the phone. <laughs>